So here we have our LC circuit and shown in the figure. We have to find the current RMS uh, through the capacitor at the resonance frequency. Okay, so we have to find I RMS through a capacitor C, right? Uh, then we have to find the RMS voltage across the inductor resonance frequency. Okay, uh, now, okay. Now we know that uh, current will be going back and forth. Uh, and uh, since uh, capacitor, resistor, and inductor are connected in series, the same current will be passing through C, R, and L, right? Back and forth. So now, uh, if you want to find the uh, current RMS, was it through C, R, L? As I said, it will be the same because it's connected in series. So let's say that I RMS is equal V RMS divided by the Z. Okay. Now, Z is equal to the R square plus XL minus XC squared and the square root. Okay. Now, we also know that, uh, okay, so we have LC. So how can we find the XLXC? Mm -hmm. So XL is equal to the omega L, right? And our XC is equal one over omega C. Mm -hmm. uh, then what else? Then if you try, then we have another formula. Uh, which was also derived and is equal to the omega is equal one over LC under the square. So it came basically by equalizing these two things. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then if they're equal, mm -hmm, then you can find first of all the omega by plugging the numbers. And when you plug the numbers, you will find that as I said that XL and XC will be equal to each other. So therefore this whole thing becomes a zero and Z will be equal to the R square. That means just the R, okay? Then after that, you put the values here. VRMS is given already, or, uh, which is 175 volts. Okay, 175 volts divided by the R. And, and in our case, R will be just the 610 ohms, okay? Then you find I RMS. And as I said, I uh, will be the same across C, R, L. And if you want to find the V RMS, now V RMS is equal to the I RMS multiplied to the X, L, okay? O is equal to the IRMS is equal XL is equal to the Omega L. So that's it. If you plug numbers, you should find the answer.